Hi everyone, this is Keith from GraveSiteBusiness.com and um, I run a grave site business um, and part of that business is doing photography and some videography for customers and um, so if you've subscribed to this channel you've seen that I've reviewed a few cameras in the past um, and now those have been great cameras and I've really enjoyed them but I felt it was time to step up the game a little bit and go to a more professional digital SLR camera uh, customers want good quality shots and uh, so I think a digital SLR will give better better shots so I have purchased the Canon Rebel EOS uh, T1i uh, it's one of the latest Canon models to come out uh, it ha has 15.1 uh, megapixels it has a CMOS sensor um, and it also shoots in high def, high def video uh, now it will shoot in 1080 uh, but that's only 20 frames per second uh, so a better better uh, option to choose is the 720 and it'll shoot at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to show you the initial unboxing of this camera. I have demoed the camera before, uh, but I want to show you everything that comes uh, in the box. Okay, first thing we see, pretty good quality box. It looks good. Uh, standard Rebel, blue and red. You know, it looks okay. Let's get right into it. Uh, first thing we see are uh, instruction manuals. Pretty thick little manuals there. Um, you know, it should tell us a lot of information. Uh, next thing are a few sales manuals to uh, tell you the external lenses that you can buy for this camera. Now this camera does come with a lens, uh, kit lens, but you can also purchase you know, a wide, wide variety of other lenses. Uh, wide angle lenses, telephoto lenses, um, high zoom lens. So that's one of the reasons I wanted a digital SLR for the lens variety that I can put on the, the camera body. Um, another reason that I purchased the Canon was that it comes with pretty good software. Now this camera shoots in RAW and there's some RAW editing software that comes with this camera but the main thing I wanted is the ability to control the camera with my computer. Um, now in studio settings that's really going to come in handy because I can put the camera on a tripod and then I can just take pictures with the computer and I believe I can control aperture and focus um, and some of the other control features of the camera with the software too. Really looking forward to testing that out and I think that's going to come in handy. Uh, there's a couple of software CDs there. Uh, some more information. Uh, neck strap, you know, good wide neck strap, that'll be good. This is the mini to USB uh, from the camera to the computer, USB cable, uh, so I can control the camera and also I believe I can dump pictures using this cable also. Um, battery charger, uh, this is standard Canon battery charger with a charge ready light. It'll turn green when the charge is full on the battery. Uh, the outlet prongs pop out. So, uh, you know, pretty standard. Pretty decent on that. Uh, this is a USB mini to RCA uh, for your television, so you can show your pictures on your television if you have an old analog style television. Um, the camera does have HDMI output, so uh, that cable does not come with the camera, so I'm going to have to purchase that separately. That's really going to come in handy. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this is the battery. Um, you know, pretty typical little battery here. It's got a, it's got an outer shell on it. I need to take that off. Okay, that was kind of tight, but uh, okay, battery. Put that in in a second. I'll show you the lens here. This is the lens that comes with it. It's a kit lens, um, 18 to 55 millimeter. Uh, it is an IS image stabilized lens. Um, you know, the, the, the kit lenses aren't the best lenses in the world, let's face it. You know, they kind of put cheaper quality lenses in with the case. But this is going to be an okay lens to get me started. And then I'll probably upgrade uh, to a higher quality um, lens with greater zoom than just 55 millimeters. This gives me about 2x, I believe. It's, it works out to about uh, two times. So that's not a lot of zoom, but it's a little bit. You know, it's better than just a standard fixed uh, lens. All right, we're going to put that on in a second. Here's the body of the camera. Uh, it's well packaged, uh, you know, which is important when you're dealing with electronics like this. Um, okay, body looks pretty good. Um, the heft of the camera is is nice. Now, some cameras are too light, and if you don't have steady hands, you might 
you know, shake a little bit if it's too light. But this has, it seems like a nice balance between not being too heavy but not being too light. So I like the feel of it. Uh, I like the grip right here, uh, the shutter button and the on-off switch and the the toggle here is, is pretty nicely laid out. It's got a nice uh, LCD screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in, um, show you how that works. And that should just pop right in. Yep, and it does. And also, off to the side here, um, Canon does take the SD card, just a standard SD card. Now this is a Transcend 8GB card that I purchased, and it's a Class 6. If you're going to get um, an SD card, don't don't scrimp on the cards. You can find them real cheap, and they're, and they're not great quality cards, but you want to go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money. Get a minimum of a Class 4, preferably Class 6, or maybe, you know, like Class 8. Um, and, and get a high capacity also. This is 8 gig. It should be good for uh, a couple hundred pictures, I guess. So uh, let's go ahead and put that in. I'll show you how that goes in right here. Um, all right, and the lens goes on. Let's just take this cover off. And we'll take the back cover off the lens. Match up, match up the white but the uh, white indicators. I want to be pretty careful putting this on and it should just gently snap right into place. Excellent. Alright, uh, turn it on. Take the lens cap off and you can see the, the screen on the back. The buttons are well laid out. They have the output right here for um, USB and HDMI high quality. So uh, it's got flash image stabilization, um, live view, high def video. Um, here's a neat feature. When you put your face up to the eyepiece, the screen automatically goes off. I think that's a pretty neat little little feature there. Um, look for the link to the right of this description, or in, in the description, I'll put a link to the Amazon.com um, uh, page where you can, well, this is where I purchased this from Amazon.com. I felt they gave a pretty good price. It's right around $700, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Um, I paid for two-day shipping because I'm going on a trip soon, and I needed it. Uh, I needed it in a, in a hurry, but you can only get free shipping from Amazon.com. So check them out. Look at the link uh, to the right. My name is Keith. I'm with GraveSiteBusiness.com. Uh, we can show you how you can start your own gravesite business, doing anything from photography, uh, photographing headstones for family members, videography, but there's also cemetery cleanup, uh, plot maintenance. There's just there's a whole variety of features that you or a variety of services that you can offer your customers if you own your own gravesite business. We can show you how to get that set up. Visit our website www.gravesitebusiness.com.